Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's July 2020, we're in the FA18C. This is a short video looking at the HMD format DDI page, something we've just discovered and it's really cool. So first thing, first let's turn our HMD on, our helmet mounted display, and just let that fire up, okay. From our DDIs, we could use any of the DDIs, I'm just gonna use the right one because I'm used to it. We go back to the main menu, or tactical, and we're going to go to the SUPT menu and we can find their HMD. First of all, things that do not work, you cannot align, you cannot uplink align, you cannot uplink reset. These are things that would happen in the real plane but have no relevance to DCS world. Next, you can toggle auto blank. So currently, with auto blank toggled on there, if we move our head so that our HMD moves into our HUD, you see it disappears and then reappears when you move out. If you don't want that, you can change that there, take auto blanking off, and now it's on all the time. Note as well that you can do that with that button. Next thing, we can change the brightness. We've got day, night, and automatic. And unless told otherwise, I'm probably just going to leave it on automatic. Next, you've got the reject mode. So you can have normal display. This is our normal display. You can have reject one, which takes away some of our symbology. Our heading tape's gone and some various parameters and some boxes have gone. So that's a type of declutter, if you like. And you can have reject level two, so declutter level two. In this case, it's set up the same as declutter level one. Let's go back to normal. Now, you, these are programmable, which is great. So if you go to reject setup, there, we can choose which of these items is on normal, on reject one, declutter one, and reject two, declutter level two. So an example, let's say I want to hide my altitude on reject level one or further. Well, I've got altitude selected already. So what I would do is change that from on to reject level one. Okay, and let's take some other stuff with it as is uh, natural, let's return. Now, when I click reject level one or further, it takes the altitude off. Okay, that's how that works. Let's have a little further look at that. So let's just turn it back on. Uh, I cycle up and down menu like that, and I can cycle across the menu like that. And let's turn it back on to on, and I turn these guys back on as well. So, for instance, I'm just going to pick on this one here: altitude, airspeed, boxes. So I think that means the actual boxes there. Let's go and give that a try. Let's turn that to on, so they stay on all the time. Let's go and see if that's going to function. So now, if I reject these boxes, should stay on this time. Let's try that, and there you go, they stay on this time. Um, now there's some really interesting stuff here that we don't actually have functions for in, in their helmet yet, like members, closest friend, donors, so this is SA stuff, situational awareness stuff, that looks like it may come to the HMD at some point, bearing in mind that we've got the ability to turn them on and off through the reject. Otherwise that's the functionality that we've got for the moment, so go and have fun configuring your HMD, have those useful and see you later.